Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. How are you this morning? So it's very, very cold still out in Michigan, so I thought I'd do some videos today. And so this idea that I'm making next, I'm not sure how it'll turn out, but I just, when I was looking through my stuff at Timu yesterday, I came up with an idea and I'm like, and then somebody kind of confirmed it to some degree. So I'm going to try something different today and we'll see how it works. <laughs> All right, let me bring you down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chocolate cake. And no, I didn't make this one up myself because I didn't come up with the idea until later. And well, I got other videos I want to do today. So we're going to do a cake, regular cake mix. And it calls for three eggs. I hope this turns out because in my mind, it's really beautiful and it's very tasty. <laughs> but you know, your mind can play tricks on you too, so who knows, right? All right, so there's three eggs, a cup of water, and we need a half a cup of oil. My brain sometimes, you know, it can go better than what reality is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but then really do you look at it that way you know I mean if you're creating it's never really a failure I mean failures only if you don't try that's how I look at it anyway you can't fail if you don't try so you know that's how I look at it alright so let's mix this bad boy together <laughs> I kind of look at failure honestly like how they look at the only stupid question is the one that wasn't asked that's how I kind of look at failure you know I mean I've been in sales my whole life and I mean, I've done other jobs too but mostly sales and if you don't try you fail if you don't ask questions you fail so that's how I look at it <laughs> sitting over there. <laughs> I keep water all the time when I'm cooking because as most of you know that's been with me for a while, I can't stand dirty dishes. So I actually clean up in between every single thing I do. Because I don't have a dishwasher that works. And I can't stand to have the dirty dishes. Alright, so now I'm going to oil up my pan. I'm going to get a spritzer, but until I do, I got this thing that I bought because I've been finding out a lot of stuff that's actually in that spray that we use for our food. And I don't know. I don't want to catch on fire, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're going to pour this in there. And we're going to cook it to what it says on the um, box. And for a pan, I think it's like 34 minutes, something like that. Boy, it didn't want to all come out of there, did it? Alrighty. I know you guys don't need to know how to do this, but... 
I want to bring you all along with me from prep to finish. So if it fails, we know why. <laughs> I'm going to spread this out a little bit. And then I know I'm going to drive people crazy. And it's loud and it's obnoxious. And I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm going to throw that in the oven. And I'll bring you back when it's done and cooled. Alrighty, so I'm back. I did cheat and do a couple, but... <laughs> do you remember that little thing that's for cupcakes? I thought about, what if I made a cake like that? So this is what I'm doing. I'm taking that and I'm putting it in there. Pulling it out, taking the extra cake over there. Whoops. That one didn't want to come out. That's weird. All right. And I'm going to take these pieces that I take out. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe it's because my cake is super soft. I'm going to save these cake bites actually for Missy and Jack. Alright, now I got a can of my cherry pie filling. And I'm going to fill these holes with that cherry pie filling. Oh, look at that. So someone was talking about a Black Forest cake the other day, but I thought, oh my, what if we did this? <laughs> then just about every bite, you're going to get a cherry in it, right? So let me finish it up, and then I'll be right back. All right, now I'm going to take, whoops, oh, I just got chocolate frosting all over my apron. Now what if we took chocolate frosting, and if you notice I got my new knife, it is going to be a little bit harder to frost it because you put holes in there, you know what I mean? So it's not going to be as pretty frosting as it normally would be. You know, every time I use one of these jars of frosting, I think about my grandma. So we're talking about memories yesterday with the pizza. When this first started coming out, my grandma would buy it. And then my sister over there at Mrs. Nook, we'd find the chocolate frosting inside the fridge at my grandma's house. <laughs> we'd, we'd go take spoonfuls, thinking that she would never notice, you know. And she'd be like, Chrissy, Nessa, leave that frosting alone. <laughs> That was my nickname as a child, was Chrissy. And, you know, we I think we honestly thought she wouldn't notice, you know, if we took some of that frosting, but she always did. We'd just take a little spoonful, because it tasted so good, you know what I mean? It just tasted good. Chrissy, that's a leave though, that frosting alone. <laughs> So that's what I think about every time I do this frosting. I think about my grandma. Isn't it funny how little things make you think about certain things, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, you know, another thing that makes me think about my grandma, and you guys are going to think it's funny. I think about my grandma every time I hear a fan. Because when we were little girls... And we'd sleep on the floor in the living room. We'd stay up there for a few weeks at a time in the summer. And the fan would be blowing on us, and it was those old metal fans. And they just made a different noise. 
So every time I hear a fan now start up, I think about my grandma. I know, it's weird. That's okay. She was an amazing woman, honestly. A woman be way before her time. <laughs> Alrighty. So then I thought, now we have this cherry pie filling that's left over. So why don't we kind of just decorate the top of our pie, our cake pie. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. I can't believe it actually worked. What should I call it? Cherry chocolate cake? <laughs> I don't know. Get all those beautiful juices. Alrighty. So there's my beautiful cake. Let me grab out a fork real quick. I'm not going to take too big of a bite. <laughs> On our lives, we might have to change times a little bit. I'm not sure Tom and I are going to talk about it tonight. He has to work on Sunday. So we'll see. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of a bite over here in the corner. One that nobody knows what you're doing. Oh, look at that beautiful chocolate cake. All right. Mmm. Mmm. I got a little bit of the cherry in there, too. So, you know what? Creativity, never a failure, never, even if it does. It may not be the most beautiful cake in the world, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty darn tasty. So, there's my chocolate cherry cake, I guess. <laughs> you guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing, and I'll be back with some more.